day, grade 4 learners! Today, we're going to talk about the Module 4, Week 4, Specialized Structures of Terrestrial and Aquatic Plants. For our lesson objective, first identify the characteristics of terrestrial and aquatic plants. And identify the specialized structures of terrestrial and aquatic plants. Let's discuss the different characteristics of plants. So what is habitat? Habitat is a place where organism naturally lives. Plants have a unique place to live. Each has a specialized structure to survive in their habitat. Ang habitat ay tumutukoy sa lugar kung saan nabubuhay o naninirahan ng isang organismo katulad ng halaman. Ang bawat halaman ay mayroong kanyang katangian upang ito ay mabuhay sa kanyang habitat. Water plants is also called hydrophytes. So these plants can only grow in water which is permanently saturated with water and require special adaptations for living submerged in water or at the water surface. So ang water plants ay tinatawag ding hydrophytes. Ito ang mga halaman na nabubuhay o nakatanim sa aquatic environment o matubig na lugar, katulad ng dagat, ilog, lawa at iba pa. Some example of aquatic plants and floating plants are water lily, hyacinth, and lotus. The leaves of water lily are thick, waxy, with a cut from the edge to the center. The flowers are thicker, waxy, pointed petals, and star blooms. Hyacinths have showy lavender flowers and the leaves are rounded and leathery, attached to spongy and sometimes inflated stalks. Water hyacinth has dark, long feathery roots. The leaves of lotus are thin and papery. The flowers are rounded petals, spiral shaped carpel. Land plants are also called terrestrial plants. These plants grow on land or soil. Some plants that grow on soil are small, others are big plants with hard and big trunks, while others have soft stem. Some plants bear flowers, while others do not. Most of the plant is found in the field while others grow directly on the soil and rocks. There are plants that cling to the fence and many leaves. The different shapes and sizes of the leaves are important for the plant's survival. For example, banana. Banana has big, broad leaves to efficiently trap more energy. There are also plants that has waxy leaves that help to protect themselves from dehydration as a result of too much exposure to sunlight. Let us know specialized structures of some plants. 